and said, hi, y'all. The guy who said, oh. <laughs> hey, family, this is your favorite Gullah Girl, Kendra Joy. Just bringing it, in, <laughs> bringing it in with one of my favorite people in the whole world of these whole like existence in all of america so i'm just is so oprah here today <laughs> no it is you and we are just so excited to be able to share this with you so if you are listening or if you think somebody would definitely enjoy this conversation please tell them to tune in right now with your girl live at www.wbok1230am.com or please go ahead and download that beautiful Google app that we have created for you guys. And you can find that definitely on your Android and on your iPhone. And so we just want to keep it rocking. You won't be able to call in today, but that's all right, because we're just going to continue to we have... We didn't a, pay our phone bill. <laughs> we're just going to continue to have an amazing conversation with the one and only Ann Caldwell. The Is she here? The voice of Velvet. Remember mm -hmm. that? The voice of Velvet <laughs> and also of the Magnolia Singers. And this is just going to be a good time. So we're going to continue to talk about um, my Gullah heritage. We had my family on air yesterday. Okay. And they were... All of them? Not all of them. My okay. aunts and everybody. Um, hey, Kurt. My aunts and everybody were on and it was just a time and a half. And so today we're just going to continue because, you know, in, in New Orleans, they call me Gullah Girl. When Gala Gals, when they see you, they be like, hey. I will call you anything you want to be called. <laughs> and so I no, just. got no cuss words in it. No, ain't no cuss words in it. <laughs> ain't no cuss words in it. But please make sure that you just check us out and let, let me know how you're feeling about it. So feel free to email me as well at Kendra Joy, K Y N D R A J O I at gmail.com. And we're about to get this conversation rocking because this is a busy lady. Because they're preparing for Spilato. And I need a nap. And she needs a nap. And I just found out that I have to wear dressy black with pearls because I'm singing for Spilato tonight too with the Magnolia Singers. So, and then also we want to send condolences out to our good friend Pat and the loss of her father. We are praying with you and sending much love and light to your family. Definitely. And so, Miss, can, I just, I, I was, I'm going, I was going to say Miss Caldwell, but I'm just, still Miss. Can I just call you Auntie? We can do that. Too. Okay. Hey, Auntie. Hi, <laughs> And so I really would like for you just to say, tell the people who you are. I am Anne Caldwell, <laughs> vocalist, performing artist, and director, and leader, and uh, person who writes checks. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's a boss. That's what we consider a boss. Yes. Uh, oh, both. That that's me in a nutshell. That's not you in a nutshell. That's the, that is not you in a nutshell. In a nutshell, you want to show you a nutshell. That's it. So one, so you know, oftentimes you don't get a chance to um, to like share or highlight people um, who just mean a whole lot to you. And so this is an opportunity. I called her. Was just like, "What you doing tomorrow? I'm about to interview you." And she was like. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And so um, I first met um, Anne at Burke High School. That's right. With Miss Vivian Jones. I was wearing a red jacket. Yes, yes, yes. And so that, and then I just fell in love. I, I was like on her coattail after that. Like just That's pulling. why I don't have the jacket anymore. <laughs> Let's take it so off. I've been just pulling at her coattail and just like watching her every move and just um they say who who do you mimic your singing after or who are one of your who's one of your role models and i'm just like ann caldwell and of course i'm just people are like who and i'm just like the most phenomenal singer in the world right and they're just like okay and so she is one of the one of the persons who was just like yo if this person can do it then you definitely can do it and because of her that's we ended up doing Kendra Joy. Mm -hmm. First album came out and all this other stuff. And so we're just very excited to have you um, have just have you here and just to be able to just lay up all over you and all that good jazz. Not like that. Not <laughs> but anyway. So like so tell tell them a little bit about the Magnolia Singers. It's a group of singers. It's total six of us tonight, possibly seven. Whoop 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 whoop. <laughs> <laughs> and we do spirituals, acapella. We've also been asked to do some pretty way out stuff that's not spiritual, but 
It's a great group. They follow behind anything I ask them to do. Uh, but basically, it's mostly the, 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 the Negro spirituals. Kind of done in a traditional way. Mm -hmm. What happens is I come along with a new song, and I present it to the group, and I let them pretty much interpret it any way they want to, which is, which is what would have been done. Mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the praise house and the, and the camp meetings and all that. You didn't have rehearsal. We just showed up and you sing. And that's mm -hmm. what we do. We have a, we have a lot of fun. Um, it's uh, Pat Jones. It's Yvonne Brown. It's Elaine Singleton. It is Crystal Kornicki. Yes. It is uh, John Smalls, the lone man in the group. And John <laughs> is a phenomenal young man who's managed to Put up with all these women and just sing, and, and we do. That's what we do. We sing, and you story tell, and I story tell. I've done yes. some stories. I've written stories. My sister's pretty much my my subject sometimes. <laughs> Big up, see Vaughn Brown in the yeah, house. Hey, Vaughn. <laughs> and I've run a couple of the stories by her, and she thinks they're funny, and that's okay because I don't want her to find out from somebody else my sister's writing stories about it. I'm just like what you said. So I've done that. I've, d I've done an African-American history lesson for third, fourth, and fifth graders. Really? I did not know In that. 45 minutes. Really? Yes. You have to do these things before the little boogers end up in net holes. And yes. Stuff like that. So, yeah. And it's been, been very well received. I, I kind of, I think the thing that makes me a little bit different than some storytellers is that I bring music to it. Yeah. This is why I love her. See, this is she doesn't even know. So... I do the same thing with my kids when I do storytelling. That's what you do. See, it's the see music she that grabs them. You gotta have a mentor. Yeah, I'll you, find mine. One yeah. Day. <laughs> no, you're you're just mine. Okay. You're just mine. I shall be your mentor. Yes, but you but you already is. Okay. So I'll send you an invoice. Oh no 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 invoice no invoice. You no, think no. this mentor thing is free? Yes yes yes. I That's what's called eat. mentor. Yes. I got to eat. Yeah no. <laughs> She has to eat, so book her. So please, like, book her or and the group to to yes. be able to do that. You'll have a lot of fun when you come to yes. any of anything that we do. I, I, we just have a lot of fun and get people singing and clapping and moving. Definitely. So can you give us a sample of one of the little stories? It doesn't have to be 45 minutes. Oh, it doesn't. You, you, you can the, give us, like, a short snippet. Um, a story about my sister and hats. My sister likes hats, but this is a story about... An auntie that gave her a hat, and the auntie decided she'd use real things on the hat, like uh -huh. real berries and stuff out of the yard. So you could do the Gullah version or the and English one? I'm going to, and I'm, I need, I'm, I want I'm you to do the slip into version. the Gullah thing okay. here. Okay, all right. So y'all about to get and a that treat. been a real pretty hat. And my sister, she had liked that hat so much, she had gone to the town to show everybody the hat. What do you see? And she started walking along the road, and pretty soon some birds see her coming. Mm. Well, she ain't mind the birds so much, but she been getting kind of tired. Cause that's a long way to go to town. <laughs> so she sat down a spell just to rest. Mm -hmm. And after a while, them birds thought he'd been a berry bush. What do you say? All them birds come down and they get on that hat and they tear that hat up. Sister commenced to running and beating on his head. Hey. Cause them birds been eating the berries off his head. By the time she get to the town, that mean but nothing left of that hat. She had to laugh herself. <laughs> Cause I couldn't have them. I've been all laughing my all by myself, but that, <laughs> but that's all right. She she think she think that's a funny story. <laughs> that had ain't been no good after that. But you know. <laughs> so one of the things that which is really cool is that you perform storytelling along with along with the music. So it's like Negro spirituals mixed with uh, Gullah spirituals mixed with just. Hymns? Do you guys do hymns too? Occasionally we do the hymns. Um, most of the times with our presentations, I'm more or less explaining to you the song and maybe the circumstances that the song would have been sung. Uh, oh, so like, can you explain like uh, Heist the Wenda? Heist the Wenda. Heist the Wenda. A lot of the preachers use spirituals to, to preach. Hmm. And Heist the Wenda is a story about uh, Moses. It's not Moses. The guy, the guy on, who was on the ark? Noah. Noah. Noah was on the ark. And it talks about heisting the window. When you, when you say heist the window, heist means 
lift out, open. Because, you know, people think you mean the steel, uh-uh. the teeth. They, they may be now. Yeah. But, yeah. Maybe now. <laughs> Take the window. Take the window. <laughs> But right now it means heist, it means lift up the window. Because yeah. remember, Noah had to lift up the window to see what the weather was like mm-hmm. after about 40 days and 40 nights of raining. We got to know what's going on out there. And he would heist the window and he'd let the tuckle dove go mm-hmm. out. And the tuckle dove would go out and the tuckle dove came back. It's a tuckle dove? Would, tuckle dove. And turtle, turtle dove? dove? No, it's a tuckle dove. It's a tuckle dove. Tuckle dove. Okay. I ain't going to say no R's. It's tuckle dove. Tuckle dove. And he learn. Would send, he would send the tuckle dove out and the tuckle dove would come back and he'd know, okay. Tuckle Dove can't land on the ground because there's too much water on the ground. Um, uh, and it kind of includes a lot of other stories as well. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but for the most part, that's the main story in Heist the Wenda Nora. And it's Nora in mm-hmm. the Gullah language, not Noah, but Nora. Um, so not Noah Jones, not Nora, Nora Jones, 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 not Nora not Jones, but Nora, the, the, yeah, the Bible Nora. Nora. That, that Nora, that Nora, the one in the, in the, one, <laughs> one in the Bible. Yeah, in the Bible. Yeah, because we got the biblical stories in the Bible. In the Bible. Yeah. Y'all getting some good. Y'all, okay, so all donations will be sent to Ann Caldwell. I'm going to send her address. No, I'm just joking. I will send my address. <laughs> PayPal. <laughs> Vimeo is good, too. Vimeo. Well, Vimeo. Well, but, okay, so how how the song for Heist the Window go? Uh, it starts off, Tuckle Dove done flop this way. Heist the window, let the dumb come in. It's mm. a call and response song. Okay. So the thing that remains the same is Heist the window, let the dumb come in. So if you are listening, that means that y'all gonna have to sing Heist, Heist the window, let the hi, So let's let's do uh, what is the word phonetically? Heist, heist the da, da window. 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 Heist the window. But if you're from the north, you'd say open the window. <laughs> But this is not your song, is mine. That's right. And so, so you're going to say, heist. heist the window. Heist, and you start again. Tuckle dove done pop this way. Heist the window, let the dove oh, let me come me. Let me see. Rain and you rain in all of the day. Heist the window, let the dove come in. Oh, Nora. Heist the window, Nora. What? Heist the window, Nora. Yeah. Heist the window. And once you've sung the song oh, over and over and over, over you're singing what I'm singing. I just sing what you sing? You sing the response. Okay. Heist the wind to let the dove call me. Sing. Heist the wind to let the dove call me. Heist the wind to let the dove call me. I sing the beat. Heist. Go ahead. And you stop and I sing the verse. <laughs> Tuckle dove done flop this way. Heist the wind to let the dove call me. Rain and you rain and all of the day. Heist the window, let the dove call me. Oh, Nora. Heist the window, Nora. Heist the window, Nora. Heist the window. Heist the window, let the dove call me. That's how that one goes. All right. You got, you got the, the the drum thing, yeah. which is almost, also similar to what happens with the double clap. Hey. And then, you got, and then you got the little shuffle. I mean, you may have like a little the, shuffle. We got the ring shout. The ring the shuffle. shuffle. We'll be doing that tonight as well. Oh, I need to wash my feet. You need to wash your feet. A lot of mercy. Clean socks. <laughs> and my dress and black and pearl. shoes. Oh, a lot. Borrow your mama's pearls. I'm going to borrow my mama pearl. That Make sure I you do. give them back to her when you die. I show sure enough this. Don't tell her you are. And then you, 20 years down the road, I know, she huh? has to ask you. I know. Kendra, where are my pearls? Lord, have, help Mama, us. Mama, I'm bringing them. I'm bringing them. <laughs> Mama, I'm bringing them. My cousin I'm said, hearing that, noise that right song makes me want to do the shimmy. <laughs> no! They got no shimmy. She said shimmy. I need to turn off the washing machine. No, back no, because noise. we got the house. We enjoying ourselves. Okay. So, okay. yeah, you good? We're not, we not turning off nothing. We're going to enjoy okay. this right here. Yay! And so, one of the cool things about singing these songs for you is what? Like, because people say you should, uh, you know, you have mixed views about, and everybody has an opinion. Should we sing, you know, spirituals? Should we, should, should we not sing spirituals? You know, what is your opinion on singing the spirituals and what does it do for you? Why shouldn't we sing the music that belongs to our people? Ah, good, good, good. People good. call them slave songs, but 
No, they're not slave songs. They're songs who, they, was, they are songs that were sung by, and notice what I say, enslaved people. Yes. I refuse to say my people were slaves. We were never slaves. We were enslaved. Mm -hmm. um, even the ones who were born slaves, that we never claimed that. Mm -hmm. But it's the music we sang for various and sundry reasons. They were coded message songs. They were field songs. Um, they were songs that told stories and 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 kind of made fun of people. Mm. When you could make fun of them and they not know, you know, mm -hmm. the one song that says, um, uh, everybody talking about heaven ain't going there. They were talking about the slave owner. What? He thought because he was a good slave and he didn't beat none of his people that it was okay. Um, no, slavery is slavery. I don't yeah. care whether they beat you or not. You take one step too far in the north and you see how free you, you, you they thought you might have been. <laughs> but um, yeah, there were there were coded message songs, songs that had messages in them, mm -hmm. like "Swing Low, Sweet Chariot" is a coded message song. Uh, I it's, love when you guys sing that too. Yeah, and we'll we'll do our version of that tonight as well. Um, uh, it was a song that was sung to those who wanted to escape, mm -hmm. and you couldn't just talk about it amongst each other. You had yeah. to send messages. So when uh, Sister Tubman was close by, and she was Harriet Tubman, one of the great um, conductors, because the guys along the way were, were, were called conductors, um, you couldn't say, Miss Tubman is coming, and she's going to take you oh, all aboard, huh? You're all aboard. Um, and, he, and Canada was the place you went when mm -hmm. you wanted to escape, and you couldn't call it Canada. So Canada became Canaan, Promised Land, Heaven. Mm -hmm. So when you talked about the chariot swinging low, the chariot was close. Yeah. So when you heard the song, you knew that the moon was full, wow. and the arm of that big dipper was pointing in the right direction, and you were on your way to freedom. So when you heard, swing low, sweet chariot, you knew, okay, it's time to leave now. Mm -hmm. And it was a perilous, dangerous journey but what you had waiting at the end was well worth the journey so because you were going to freedom. The Underground Railroad, I always say the Underground Railroad was, let me back up, I say the Middle Passage mm -hmm. was the journey from freedom to slavery because we weren't born slaves. So yeah. We may have, somebody may have thought we were, but we were born free. And the journey from slavery to freedom is the Underground Railroad. We're getting out of it. Uh, so yeah, the, the songs meant a lot. It was it was what kept them from dying. Yeah. Keep the, keep the spirits up. We didn't have all the medication they have today. Yeah. Uh, and, and it also set the pace of work. Because mm -hmm. um, when you're working sun up to sun down, you got to be smart about the way you work, mm -hmm. and the ancestors were smart about the way they work, because if somebody fell back and wasn't doing as as much work as everybody else was, you could get punished for that as easily. Mm -hmm. So what what happens is that they set the pace of work. So with a song like "Draw Level the Angel I'm Coming Down," everybody's working the same tempo. So if you want to speed it up and get a little bit done, get a little bit more done, draw. Mm -hmm. They would slow it down and you could rest a little bit wow. without stopping. Wow. And as long as everybody was working at the same tempo, nobody had any problems with that. So gotcha. it's working slow. Okay. And this 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 technique was also used on chain gangs. Mm. When they were chopping trees, and I've seen guys do this. You put one guy on one side of the tree and another guy on the other side. You might even put guys around four sides of this tree and they're just chopping on this side, this guy's chopping on that side. And and they're singing while they're while they're chopping. I think I almost venture to say the technique was used with fishermen. If you mm. notice in Port in the production of Porgy and Bess, where the guys were fishing, one of the songs says, "It takes a long row to get here." Huh. What they were doing is pulling on the net. Yeah. And that would be hard to do with everybody doing their own thing. So everybody would just grab the net 
And, it, and as soon as you heard, it took a long road to get here. Huh. Yeah. Everybody's pulling on that net one time. Yeah. And they just keep doing that until the net comes where the net has to go. But yes. yeah, the, the, the music served the African ancestral community. Mm. It told stories. Yeah. It told stories about what was going on. You know, if 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 one of the songs that I first heard Kathleen Battle do it, oh. Lord Hakamiya. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's asking I, God a question. So can you please sing that? Just a just a snippet. Okay, no, no, because doesn't. because you've been doing like pieces of songs and I'm just like, ooh, finish that. I'm like, yeah. ooh, finish yeah. that. Yeah. Like, ooh, pieces, finish that. Pieces. Everybody's Elaine said hello. Hi Elaine. Um, Howard Kanye. I hope you're getting ready for tonight. She says, see you ladies this afternoon. Okay, good. Howard Conyers, the famous Dr. Howard Conyers. Hi, doctor. The young man who's doing the... I got um, a pain. Not that no, kind of no, not that kind okay. of doctor. Forget it. Um, the, the weekend that we're bringing you up is a part of his event. This okay. is this is that Dr. Howard Conyers. Ah, so okay. big ups to Mr. Conyers. Forget Cotton. about that pain. It's not but he's from Manning. Pain. Is so, that, he's from okay. Manning, South That's Carolina. a good thing. That's why I get my cart in my life ever last from. Really? Yeah. Remind me to get in touch with him. Yeah, you need you know, somebody. I wish I would have known that. No, you know. As I got you. Get you. Older, as you get older, you know. Oh, I sure would have bring you some. That next time. Okay. We'll so, see each other again. Yeah, we will. I'll be home in July. Okay. Okay. So you would do Lev, uh, Law Why Come Me? I'll do a little bit of it. Just a little um, bit. It's, it's a song about a woman who has just become enslaved. And the ancestors were never afraid to talk to God however they needed to talk to him. You know, some folks say, you can't say that to God. Yeah, my hey, grandmother used to tell me that. God is God. He talk knows. To the master all kind of way. That was People talk to, to him all kind of way. Even <laughs> tell him to go kill somebody. Uh, <laughs> you know, go kill that whole community if you don't mind. Lord. Um, he doesn't have to do it. But she's, she's angry with God because she is enslaved. Yes. And she has a few questions for God. And yes. she has a few things to say to God. And her, you know, she opens up with the question, Lord, how come me young? Lord, how come me young? Lord, how come me young? I wish I never been born. Yeah. And she has a bone to pick with God because um, the children she had, they sell my children way, Lord. Yeah. They sell my children way. They sell my children way, Lord. And I wish I ain't never been born. She's got a bone to pick with God. And, and that's what the song talks about, her feelings. Mm -hmm. she, that, she feels bad. And let's face it, um, slavery was hard, miserable, and depressing. Mm. So, they, and I've heard ancestors, you've heard relatives say, gal, we sang ourselves happy and yeah. we shouted we troubles out. Yeah. That's what they did. Um, what impressed me more about that is that even in the praise houses where they did this, uh, they had to get back up and go back. Mm -hmm. The very thing they're shouting and, and hollering about. Mm -hmm. it, it's what got it off their chest, I guess you could call it. I mean, let's get this out of our, our system so we can live, mm -hmm. so we can survive. And um, the, the African American population survived. They found ways to survive. Yeah. And the music helped us to survive. Everybody else is singing their music. Yeah. Why don't we sing out? Yeah. Let's sing, let's sing our music uh, because our music is is the root yeah. of other kinds of music. Jazz, blues, gospel, all kinds of music yeah. found their, 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 their growth out, out, out of the, the spiritual. And I've almost, I've, I've kind of often said rhythm and rhythm came to America when the ancestors were brought here. Yeah. You can just about hear where there was no rhythm, and then not hearing it, mm -hmm. um, hmm, where'd that come from? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, now, now, now we got the rhythm thing going on because we had the drums. Yeah, but that didn't stop us. Nope. When they took the drum because we're afraid we were going to send signals and all kinds of no, that's not going to stop us. Mm -hmm. We can do it with our hands. We can take yeah. a step. We can do it with our feet. We can do the shuffle. We see the African influence in the spirit. That's music. We ought to be singing mm -hmm. our music, um, and the, you know the jazz interpretation of the spiritual. Smart. Let's keep the music going for the sake of our our children. Yeah. 
that don't know that don't know that that's our music. You know, they sit around campfires and sing Kumbaya, Lord. Oh, please kumbaya, talk about Kumbaya. 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 I can't kumbaya, even sing Kumbaya like that kumbaya. no more. But that. That's the people their don't version. Know that's a spiritual. I know, but you got to tell them that, that it's kumbaya instead of kumbaya. Exactly. So you got to you got to explain that to the people because they don't know. Yeah, and it's kumbaya. That's that's a spiritual, and I've heard people heard people say that's a spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna lay down my burden down by the riverside. That's a spiritual. Yeah. It, 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 we tell need them. we need to know it's. Our music before we get to the place where we think it's somebody else's music. Yeah, it's not. It is our music. Yeah, and we ought to we ought to sing it every chance we get. Mahalia Jackson sang it all the time. Yeah, she did. She did. She sang it all the time. I'm so excited that you're here. Whoopee! <laughs> Why? You think you're getting something to eat? Oh, you got some food? Look at this kitchen. I, I'm not food? going to show the kitchen. <laughs> I am not going to show that kitchen. But no, but it's important. It's like I so, cleaned it up last week. <laughs> I'm gonna put my head down, family. Just like this, yeah. I'm gonna do this, yeah. One of the one of the cool things about um, about being with you for so long, mm -hmm. you know, and singing like sometimes when you're young like that, you don't necessarily understand the significance. Of what you're saying, or what you're feeling, or what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Like that one time, well, I was like, one time in band camp, but like the one time that um, I think we were in Boone Plantation over there. Boone Hall. Boone Hall. Boone Plantation. And we were able to sing inside the slave cabin mm -hmm. for me. And it was like a feeling that was indescribable that we were just singing in like spirituals. I'd I be pulling y'all all the way back, I know. But I, I remember it as well. And it's, it was it's as though the ancestors it was were standing yeah. around hearing hearing us remember them. Yes. Because that's how we remember them. It was just an uh, an amazing um thing, you know, like an amazing mm -hmm. feeling. And I think for, for me as I got older and I started hearing people tell their version of our story, it started to bother me. And I got more involved in, mm -hmm. you know, I guess the storytelling and the singing. And I think mm -hmm. just, because we always would say, oh, you know, we, we get you. <laughs> you know, or oh, we get you, we get you, but we don't understand mm -hmm. what that meant. Like what it was to be Geechee or what it, what it meant to be Gullah. Because it just wasn't taught in schools. No. You know, I mean, big ups to Burke, that's where I graduated from, but or Courtney, but it just wasn't, you know, that's, yeah. hey, this is your heritage. Like, we learn mm -hmm. about the Jewish heritage, we learn about the Greek right. heritage, we learn about yeah. the Roman heritage, we learn about all these Everybody different Everybody else's heritage without. But we don't know what we are. And so yeah. I think for, and as we continue to talk to just other young people like Howard and myself and like, or BJ, um, just talking to different people, if we understood who we carried in mm -hmm. us, you know, and we could just remember who, because we were the best of the best that were able to survive all of that, mm -hmm. you know. And if we can remember that type of power that we have within oh, us, sure. you know, oh, it. Sure. I think the world for us, as Black Americans or African Americans, would be a completely different place. Mm -hmm. When you when and with the election of a finally an election of a Black. President. Yeah. The only thing I could think of that that night, because let's face it, just years before that, I said nobody's going to elect a black man. Named yeah, that was the joke, Obama. though. It was the let's joke. Let's face it. That, that <laughs> we'll, we'll just see how far this brother goes with this, and to watch the screen. Yeah. And see yeah. his brother and his wife and yeah. his children. And the, the, the phrase that kept going through my mind was, we came to, we were brought to this country as slaves. Mm -hmm. As slaves we were. And we're strong people. I mean, look at, look at what we have been through. We could have been easily annihilated, but we weren't. Mm -hmm. We still, we are here um, because of, of what went on in our history, of, of the ancestors who fought in any way they could. Yeah. And you've got to be pretty pretty smart to get through that maze. Yeah. And still 
stand yeah. at the end. Um, the, the, a lot of this country was built on the backs of, of the ancestors brought to this country mm -hmm. for slave labor. Um, they were brought here because of how smart they were. Say that again, how smart. How smart they were. <laughs> yeah. Rice. The, 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 the English-speaking settlers didn't know how to do it, and if they knew how to do it, they weren't going to do that. Yeah. They weren't going to do it. How to build a house so that it takes advantage of the breeze. Mm-hmm. You call them shotgun houses, but it took it took advantage of the breeze. My people knew how to do that. And they, they, they hard work was not was not you know foreign to them. But, yes, but they worked hard. Some became millionaires, um, owned businesses. Uh, yeah, you got to be pretty smart cookie to to pull that off. Yeah. and 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 we owe it to them to remember them any way we can mm -hmm. um, if it's in especially in the music um, in the storytelling in the language we need to hold on to that the same way everybody else is holding on to their heritage yeah the same way the Jews do not turn their back on ostrich they remember it they remember it they pass it down to the kids they have pictures they put up museums so they don't forget mm -hmm. from whence they came and this is from whence we came. There's stuff going on now that, um, you know, the the the, the uh, African American history that I teach third, fourth, and fifth graders, because they're at that nice bendable age and they listen, and I make them a part of it, mm -hmm. um, showing them where I, I call the presentation from. I changed it from Africa to the White House. Hmm. At first I had it from the slave ship to the White House, but no, let's go further back, from Africa to the White House. How did we get from there to the house, the yeah. White House? Yeah. Not the big house, the White House, Yeah. because we had big houses. Um, and showing them, uh, telling them about the Middle Passage and how bad that Middle Passage was. Yeah. It, you know, it wasn't a luxury liner we were riding on, we were in the hull of a ship, packed in there like little sardines. Um, we had to come to the strange new world. Yeah. Because we didn't know. We were coming to a world where we didn't speak the language. We didn't know anybody here. We didn't come to visit no cousins. Or yeah. we didn't, we didn't <laughs> no cousins here. Going around the corner. No, going around. <laughs> boy, I'm glad I'm on this ship going to see my cousin in America. No, there were no cousins in America. You were being brought here, and once you got off, off that, that boat, bam, you were enslaved. Mm -hmm. um, Showing that middle passage and slave auctions and uh, uh, the abolishment of slavery and telling them why the Declaration of Independence didn't mean anything to us. Uh, it didn't. Yeah. It, it, it applied to everybody else but us because we were property. And I ask kids, what is property? And they tell me all the property. Right. Property is something you own. If it's that chair, I can do anything with that chair I want. Come on I can buy it, yeah. I can sell it, I can trade it, I can give it away as a gift. Mm. And that's what we were at one time. We were given away as gifts, we were bought, we were sold, we were traded with. Mm -hmm. That's your property. So when the Declaration of Independence came to be, that don't apply to that chair. Yeah. It didn't apply to us. But then a bunch of men figured out Slavery is stupid. And we're not, whatever was floating through their minds is yeah. to make them decide that there was an act of God, all right, bam, it's time to end this. Uh, slavery was abolished. And you think we were free. Mm. But the question is, free to do what? That is weird when you're free. Where am I going? Yeah. What am I doing? But that didn't stop them. We're going to do something with this freedom. And, and away they went. Did some stay? Yeah, and that's fine. Some stayed, some left. Uh, and it took courage, I believe, to do either one. Um, and then that led to, you know, once the abolishment of slavery, 
some folks got a little nervy about that. Now I got yeah. now I got them walking around with us, and we got to do something to, so to keep us separated. So we got the gym. Mind. We got the Jim Crow laws. We yeah. got the Jim Crow laws to it make sure going. It we keep going. separated. You just still over there, you drink mm. from that one fountain. You go in that doctor's office. You know, doc. I had a doctor that had two waiting rooms. And you I had a doctor? Yes. Really? And I sauntered in. I didn't know it. I sauntered into the wrong one. Man, this is a nice place. You got nice little leather chairs. Everybody can sit in. And the nice nurse said, no, you're not supposed to be in this one. You're supposed to be in the one over there. Oh, I got little wooden chairs. And <laughs> I said, okay. Ah, now I know. But yeah, it's it's the Jim Crow thing. Jim Crow thing. And then... Um, there are those of us who say, no, I can't live like this. This is because the schools were worse than anything yeah. else. Everything was bad. It was, it was, you had to sit upstairs in the theater and everybody else sit downstairs. Yeah, you and remember that day. I lived through Jim Crow. It was white schools over here and the black schools over there and the black schools over there were not as nice as the white schools over there. But, and again, you know, when, when, when we had the slavery thing, we had to leave. Mm -hmm. How did you know which way to go? There's a song that says, follow the drinking gourd, follow the drinking gourd, because Big Dipper looked like a gourd, mm -hmm. and the handle pointed north. Here we go, doing Jim Crow again. Now we got to follow the gourd again. Good boy. And we get in the cars, and we go, and, and with the kids, I, I, I tell them, ah, maybe we're going to Chicago. So I kind of pull the jazz into it. Come on. Don't you want to go? go. <laughs> All the way to do. Here we go again. Now, where we were carrying a little bag of food and some water, we get all kind of stuff now because we got a car. We can get in car. Lord have mercy. Right. But we got to get out of here because this ain't working for us. And some stayed. My family stayed. So look, um, I got, stayed. I, I got I got my producer on the line, which means that we got to wrap it up. Wrap. <laughs> Family, this is the one and only Ann Caldwell. I'm going to bring her back on. And if you are, it's a big event happening October 19th and 20th, uh, the weekend of October 19th through the 21st. Yes. You're going to start hearing more information about that. But I will be going live again tonight at Spoleto, Piccolo Spoleto, tonight Yay. with the Magnolia Singers and Miss Ann Caldwell. And you can at see the, the group live. City Gallery. At the City Gallery tonight from 6 to 8. And I believe the tickets are $16. So yes. if you're in Charleston, definitely come on out. Check us out. It's going to be amazing. Now, check this one. The group is amazing. They're phenomenal people and so we want to make sure that you guys are just a part of what's happening and taking place so please love on auntie and we love you send me your money <laughs> <laughs> and we just want to say thank you so much y'all already know i love you we're going to be doing this for the rest of the week it's going to be awesome sauce so don't y'all go nowhere because we're going to see you again on tomorrow same place same time and until that until then be easy. Remember, you are light, and God bless. Peace. You want, how, how you going to tell them something by Angola? What are you telling I'm going to leave you in the hand of the kind Savior. Yes, indeed. Y'all heard it. The one and only Ann Caldwell. Y'all have a blessed day. We out. Goodbye. <laughs> she said goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>